analytical. Becoming analytical involves developing a mindset focused on critical evaluation, data interpretation, and logical reasoning. One of the initial steps is embracing curiosity. Adopt a questioning approach to all information you encounter. For example, if you hear a statement or claim, don't take it at face value. Ask why or how. Much like a scientist would question a hypothesis, Dr. Carl Sagan, the famous astrophysicist, was renowned for his analytical approach to understanding the cosmos. He emphasized the importance of skepticism and the scientific method, encouraging people to question everything, even their own preconceptions. Cultivating a strong foundation in mathematics and statistics can also be invaluable. For instance, Nate Silver, who gained fame for his accurate political forecasting, uses statistical models to analyze various factors that could influence election outcomes. Learning how to work with data not only equips you to interpret it, but also helps you to understand its limitations. Free courses on platforms like Coursera or Khan Academy can help you get started with statistics and data analysis. Mastering the art of breaking down problems is another pivotal skill. When faced with a complex issue, dissect it into smaller, more manageable elements. For instance, if you are looking at improving customer satisfaction in a business, don't just consider it as one monolithic problem. Break it down into various components like product quality, customer service, pricing, etc., and analyze each one individually. Business consultants often use frameworks like SWOT, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, threats, or P-scale, political, economic, social, technological, legal, environmental, to dissect and evaluate different facets of a problem systematically. Being analytical also involves the ability to spot patterns or trends. Consider Sherlock Holmes, the fictional detective who exemplifies analytical thinking. Holmes frequently solves mysteries by identifying patterns or inconsistencies that others overlook. Similarly, you should aim to identify relationships or correlations in datasets, behaviors, or events. For example, if you notice that sales decline during a particular month each year, dig deeper to understand why that pattern exists. Is it a seasonal effect, or is it tied to some other variable? Logical reasoning should be your ally. When forming conclusions, ensure that they are derived from sound premises. For example, in academia, Peer review serves as a tool to ensure that research findings are logically sound and based on empirical evidence. Whenever you are making an argument or decision, strive to back it up with facts and logical reasoning. Practicing this skill can be as simple as engaging in debates or discussions where you have to defend your point of view based on evidence and logical coherence. Finally, it's important to note that being analytical doesn't mean disregarding intuition but rather refining it. Skilled analysts often develop an informed intuition based on a deep understanding of the subject matter. Malcolm Gladwell's book Blink explores this idea, arguing that experts often make quick decisions that are analytically sound because their intuition is honed by years of experience and analysis. In conclusion, becoming analytical is a multifaceted journey that involves cultivating curiosity gaining a robust understanding of mathematics and statistics, learning to dissect problems, identifying patterns, employing logical reasoning, and refining your intuition. By consciously integrating these skills into your thought processes, you will be better equipped to make well-informed decisions, solve complex problems, and understand the world in a deeper, more nuanced way.